Hey guys, it's Mike here and we are still out at the range and this time we've got a Cold War pistol. Bulgarian Makarov. This is a Circle 10 manufactured PM pattern Makarov. You got your, obviously your uh, Russian serial numbers, make, year, blah, and uh, factory stamp there. This is the first handgun that I ever purchased. When I turned 21, like any Millsurp collector, I ran out and purchased a Makarov PM at the time for $200 from Classic Firearms. They are nowhere close to that anymore. Uh, I'm sure you might be able to find one in rough shape. This one is in excellent shape. Uh, came with these grips as well as the import required uh, thumb rest target grips, which let's face it are more comfortable, but it doesn't carry the same beauty of these beautiful red Bakelite grips. So naturally I just took those off and put them away. It's a double action uh, pistol. So it's uh, pretty simple. It's very similar to your, um, oh, your Walter uh, PPKs. So you do have our safety here. So with the safety off, you can cock it and fire it. And it's also double action, so it will pull the hammer back and fire it. Now it does also have a decocker built in. So when that safety goes on, the gun decocks itself. These guys, of course, chambered in 9 by 18 Makarov, so I do have some Norma 95 grain FMJs we're going to be shooting out of her today. Um, a lot of the manufacturers you'll find that make ammo for these guys are European, given the cartridge was uh, actually used and still is used over there. Ballistically, it's basically 380 ACP. Uh, that being said, it is a larger diameter bullet than our typical 9 millimeters, so it's not at all safe to interchange, not that any of it is safe to interchange to begin with. So we'll go ahead and throw a magazine in her here. It does have a healed magazine release, similar to a lot of European style handguns. You pull in on that to pull out on the magazine. Safety off. And I'm gonna try to ring. You guys might not even be able to see it. We've got a little steel spinner there. I have not shot this gun in several years. So let's see if I can make contact. No clue where I'm hitting. Any idea, James? Looks kind of high. Went a little low. Looks like I'm hitting right under it. There we go, a little ping. Now it does have a last round bolt hold open. That being said, my particular example, I shot a lot out of, so you do have to really push up on that because it won't spring up all the way. The spring's a little worn out for it to actually stay open when you remove your magazine. Okay, back in. And it is, for the longevity of them, at least when I first from other collectors, best to slingshot them back in instead of using that slide release as it'll wear that spring out faster. Uh, I don't know if that's why, why mine wore out that fast, but best just to stay safe. So we'll see if I can ring that spinner round two. Let's step up a little bit here. I'm, not, I'm still at a safe distance here. It's still about 20 yards to that spinner. Somewhere in there. Malfunction. That's the first malfunction I've ever had with this gun. It looks like it just tried to strip that a little bit high. Let's see if I can remedy that with the good old rack. Make that slide in. Okay. Doesn't look deformed at all. Nope, that's certainly pushed back, so that's trash. we go look at that I should stop right now the sights on these aren't that great would you believe that a military uh, 
handgun from Russia. It doesn't have good sights. Regardless, we'll step back. I'm going to put up an actual target there. We'll load up a couple more mags, take some more shots with it. All right, so I'm just loading up the magazines now to go down. But since we're filming a bunch of videos for the, uh, today, I did want to break out the round that 9 by 18 was actually developed to replace. Of course, that's our 762 by 25 Tokarev. If you guys can recognize this pistol here, you'll be seeing it in a video soon on the channel. Uh, that's what we'll be shooting this ammo out of today. Another Cold War gun, although a little earlier in the Cold War. But we got our mags loaded up, so I'm going to go staple up a target. We'll be right back with you. All right. So we're at 10 yards from our super high-tech target stand there. As you can see, it's made of the latest and greatest shot-up wooden plank. Then we're going to be shooting at that target 10 yards, like I said, Norma 95 grain. I'm going to start off with a double action shot, just so you can kind of see how uh, long the pull is. It's not atrocious, it's just long. Go ahead. I'd move that camera before it eats brass. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't hold open. Like I said, that catch is a little weak on this guy. But let's just walk over there not like the long walk and i mean not great the sights are pretty bad but i mean if you're a russian conscript and you're shooting at uh nato troops i mean that's uh that's a it's a group and certainly if you wanted to carry these guns as i actually did when i bought it uh there is companies that make self-defense ammo for them privy partisan and hornady actually makes critical defense for these guys uh, that's what I used to carry in 90 grain, I think 95 grain critical defense. They're very light, they're very thin, they're concealable, and it's a nice steel framed pistol, so they're very sturdy. Um, I have far better now that I carry, but yeah, it's still totally a practical option. Now, uh, I got one more mag on me. James, if I hand this to you, you want a mag dump into trash? Sure. Alrighty. Let me fish the magazine out of my pocket here. that mag in my pocket. I'll take the camera. I don't think it likes that mag, maybe. Could be. That's not a... Uh, I would just discard it. That is not a... Um, what am I looking for? Military magazine. That's a reproduction. Shoots well. What do you think of the recoil? Like a 380, right? <laughs> what recoil? Yeah, exactly. You want to thank the people? Since I've got you behind the camera now? Hello, I'm sure you've seen me before in the videos. I'm James. I'm usually the cameraman. And uh, today I got to shoot the Makarov. Mag dumping into trash is always fun. I have no idea how much of this is actually going to be in the video. So I'm just going to start rambling. And yeah, I had to cut him off. <laughs> um, but thank you guys for watching. Of course, if you like my content, like and subscribe. Um, more videos coming right up. We got more Cold War handguns out here today that we're going to be shooting. So I'm going to go back up there and keep filming. I'll see you guys next week.